one of the things I'm very excited about with, with these new machines and Win 7 is the ability to run uh, legacy XP applications under Intel's virtualization technology and the Win, the Win XP mode under Win 7. But I think most important to an IT manager right now is being able to offer their users security without compromise. Today, running the full security environment, things like hard disk encryption, requires quite a bit of taxing load on the, on the machine, and very often the users just turn the darn things off. We want to be able to, to allow security be, to be done in a very transparent fashion. To show you this, let me bring out Adam, who's going to take us through some of the newest vPro features. Okay, go on, Paul. All right, what I've got here for you today is a quick demonstration to illustrate what you talked about here with the IT managers trying to juggle the security without compromising performance on this. So what I have for the audience here on their left side is about a three-year-old PC. It's featuring what was a top-end processor, a Pentium 4. It's running an oldie but goodie, Windows XP, and it's loaded up with some of the applications that we're all familiar with. By 9 a.m., I seem to always have all my mail open, all the PowerPoints, and all these other things going. Now, it's a bit of a bake-off, my competitive nature. I like to go ahead and throw together a little bit of a race here. And what I have for the audience is, for the first time on stage, our Aaron Dale dual core processor. This is from the Westmere line, 32 nanometers. And there's some great new features here that'll help with some of those performance hits. Um, uh, for one, we, we have gone ahead and put on the McAfee hold disk encryption on both of these systems. The good news is, is the Arendelle dual core system features a new advanced encryption um, offload, offloads AES to the CPU. So we're no longer needing to do that in software. So throughout the day, your operating system, your applications, and your personal files are opening thousands of files all day long. Decrypt, encrypt, over and over and over. So I put together a quick example of that. This is a WinZip application, which also features um, encryption and compression. The encryption is also offloaded by uh, our uh, Westmere processor. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire off the zipping. And if you look up on the keynote screen here, you'll see that the uh, Westmere system is well on its way to get this thing done quicker than I can even get this thing started under this background workload. We'll get this thing going in a second here. But you see what happens on this system. So it becomes lethargic with these background tasks, this whole this encryption. Everything combined together, this multitasking. Working with Win 7 on the schedulers, we're able to take advantage of the dual core, as well as the two virtual hyper-threading cores that come on this system. So you see we're going to be able to get this thing done. And additionally, take a look at the responsiveness on this. There's no, because this is being offloaded by the CPU, there's no problem with that. Another thing that we have as we move over from desktops to laptops in small, medium, and large businesses is an increased chance of theft. So last year we introduced the anti-theft technology, Intel's anti-theft technology, and what we can do with that, I'm gonna go ahead and fire off what's known as, what I call anyway, a poison pill using my Intel Win 7 MID. And what happens here is this poison pill goes up to the internet and has killed this system, basically has rendered it into a brick state. The chipset, the motherboard, is basically unusable until we bring it back to an IT manager to get this reinstated. Now, let me go ahead and fire that on so we can see what's happened here. Give it a second to get through that. We can get a camera shot on this, great. So what's happened here with Antitheft 2.0, working with vendors like PGP and WinMagic, we're able to not only disable the, the platform, but now that hard disk is also rendered useless. Even if I gave you the password, Paul, you're not gonna be able to unlock that, again, without taking it back to our IT staff. So that's great news, and also for our support with the new KVM features and stuff, we can also bring this back online remotely without even making a desk side visit. So performance, security, and manageability without any compromise to any of those. Words to an IT manager's heart. Exactly. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, Adam. All right.